All right, everybody, this is Ross. Um, in today's video, we're gonna talk about onions very briefly. I wanna show you guys my onions in just a little bit. What I have here in front of me is actually some onions that I've cured, or I'm curing right now. I've just harvested them yesterday. I'm gonna let them hang out here in the sun for a couple days, and then we can maybe even bring them inside to a ventilated room that's a bit dry, and they'll actually continue that curing process and finish that off for me. And what'll happen is the tops of these onions will, uh, will dry up and die back. The roots will, die, will, uh, will dry up and I'll sort of just be left with onion sets. If you can think about them right now at the smaller size that they are, they're kind of like a pearl onion, at least at this point. So they get, they've bulbed up just a little bit. They're quite small. I imagine they're very tasty, very sweet at this point. And, um, these could be, I guess, potentially an onion set, right? So if I plant out my onions in the spring from seed and then I harvest them in the summer, right, normally, I can probably harvest these guys a bit early, which I have, and have them at the smaller size and save them as sets to then replant after they've been cured, to replant them in the fall to then get myself a spring harvest. Right, because there's two different times of the year to be planting out your onions, right? You can plant them either in the fall or you can plant them in the spring. Now, I like the fall planting quite a bit because they do, uh, it's almost foolproof for the most part. As long as you can get your onions through the wintertime, there's a number of varieties that are very, very hardy, guys. So I wouldn't necessarily worry too much about that, but I would do your research. Here in this climate, a lot of onions can very easily get through the fall and you get yourself some sets. You plant them out in the fall um, or you can plant them out in the very, very early spring and you'll get yourself a harvest. But if you plant them out in the fall, let's say October, they're a lot like garlic, right? We, we take ourselves a clove of garlic, we stick it in the ground in October. It then roots itself into the ground, sends out a little bit of foliage, not a whole lot. And then for the entirety of the fall, the remainder of it, and the entirety of the winter time, if the ground is thawed and uh, soil temperatures are warm enough, it's gonna start to grow. And then also it's gonna continue to grow in the spring as things warm up because actually onions don't mind very cold temperatures in the soil. So it's one of the best things, all the alliums guys, are really one of the best things to plant in the very, very early spring or in the fall. So that's what we do here. We grow either shallots, elephant garlic, we can grow onions, we can grow uh, garlic itself in the fall to then harvest and have ourselves an early harvest of these things in the spring. So it's a nice treat to be able to have some spring onions that are, have got some nice size to them. And I figured because we grow our onions, our summer onions, when we plant them in the spring, we grow them as a multi-sown onion. And what does that mean exactly? Well, I'm gonna show you guys in a second, but those are onions that are grown in a clump. So I'll take about four or five onion seeds, start them in trays, get them to a nice size, and then I will plant them, that entire clump of onions, the four or five onions, and I'll plant them in one clump. And they grow together and they kind of grow apart from each other. They compete, I guess, in a way for water and nutrients, but they like growing together especially if you have the right soil conditions, you got your plants off to the right start, you're doing everything right. It's not necessarily the easiest thing in the world, but if you succeed, which I had done in the past, actually you guys can go back to last year and see our onion harvest um, that we did last year that were multi-sown. Um, you guys can get a lot of onions in a very, very small space. You're not gonna necessarily have the biggest onions, uh, but you can, you can have some in the clump. Within each clump, you may have two or three onions that have got some really good size, and maybe one or two are kind of medium or a bit smaller in size. Now, if you really seed the onion clumps and you go a bit heavier, maybe you have about eight to 12 onion seeds per clump, you can harvest some of them as spring onions, as this is all <clears throat> really good information, by the way, guys, because a lot of this I've learned from Charles Dowding. And uh, Charles Dowding, by the way, is a really well-known market gardener in England. And he's on YouTube. I'm sure some of you guys have seen his videos, but the guy really knows his stuff when it comes to growing vegetables. And you can plant, let's say, 8 to 12 of these onions 
in a clump, harvest them as green onions or scallions in the spring, in the very early spring, and then some of them start to bulb up. Some of them get very small, and you can harvest some of them as I have here earlier in the summer, and you get yourself some onion sets that we can then cure and plant or even eat as a pearl onion. So that's what I'm doing here, guys, is that we're gonna basically cure these guys to then plant them out in the fall. I'll show you guys my planting method in the fall and talk about what we're doing with all that. Um, let me show you guys the summer onions that I have that really have not been all that much of a success. So that's another reason why we can harvest some of these onions now, and it just won't be a waste, right? Why let this go to waste? Um, if we don't have to. So I'm curing them, again, to plant them at a different time of the year. And over here is my onion bed that, in all honesty, really was not prepared well enough. Um, I find that new beds in general, new vegetable beds, just do not do all that well. Um, they really need a year to dig themselves in a bit. You can see some of these onions that we're growing are a bit larger in size. They're not crazy. Um, definitely not a success by any means. But we started our onion seeds a bit too late as well. There's a nice window here that you can do this at a couple different times of the year. And if you don't get this right, I find, you're going to sort of regret it. So as an example, your onion seeds if you start them, let's say in February, and you plant them out in sometime in March in this location, you really need about a month and a half to two months to get your onion seeds established enough um, so that you can get yourself really big onions by, um, by the spring, or by the summer, I'm sorry. Now, if you instead, let's say you start them um, a little bit too late, and let's say you only give them about a month to grow indoors or maybe even three weeks um, you can get these onions to a reasonable size a smaller size and you can transplant out your onions in the spring at that size and i think either one is actually a pretty darn good method um, because smaller plants transplant very well that's a fact that's actually how charles dowding does it is that he he transplants his onion seeds his onion plants in the spring very early as early as he can and also he does it uh, with very small plants. And I think that's a, probably a better way to do it, to be honest with you. Um, but you can also get them really large indoors and then transplant them out in the spring and you're gonna see similar results. Now I had these onion plants here kind of somewhere in the middle of the two. They weren't small and they weren't big. They were somewhere in the middle and I think that was a big mistake and it's also contributing to my lack of success here. So not only is it the bed, uh, but also the, the seedlings that we had and we used. And also we had um, some plastic over top of these plants for a, a, just an extended period of time that we really didn't want, um, we didn't need them to. So I thought maybe some plastic would help warm these guys up a bit, help warm up the soil it was just too late in the season at that point. And therefore, we just don't have the most successful onion crop. But again, it's not all the waste, right? Because I have the onions over there that are curing. We'll plant them out in the fall. These guys here are not going to get to the biggest size possible. But they're going to get to a decent size. And I'll be able to harvest most of these um, probably within the next month, maybe a couple weeks here. Uh, and I'll be able to get something decent that I'll be able to cook with um, for the next couple months. And I'm going to have to wait until my harvest next year, but um, it's not the end of the world. As I, as I mentioned here, we're still learning from our mistakes. There's different ways to do this, guys. There's so many different ways, and I just figured that maybe some of you guys would be interested to hear, um, you know, just another side of this, right? Um, a different way to look at this, a different way to do this. Um, I just think they're quite versatile, interesting plants, these onions. So even though we haven't had the most success, we're able to get those onions over there cured, um, get them planted out. And uh, I'm going to continue with the multi-sown method 
really my my failure this year has nothing to do with um, the fact that they were multi-sewn. Um, I would strongly encourage that you guys try the method for sure and uh, grow some onions, you know? Um, yeah, I think that's really the main message here of my video. So thank you guys. If you're interested and you really like this video, check out the other videos that we've done now on onions and all the other different vegetables we've grown in the past. Uh, it's been a learning experience, I have to say. And uh, every year we get so much better at this. And uh, I want to talk to everybody soon, all right? Take care and stay safe. We'll see everybody soon.